In Turkey, there's been a huge outpouring of grief and anger about the death of a teenage boy who was wounded in last year's anti-government demonstrations. 15-year-old Berkin Elvan had been in a coma since he was hit in the head by a police gas canister while he was out buying bread. Today, protesters gathered outside of the Istanbul hospital he was in were themselves fired on with tear gas. Well, Celine Giddit is in Istanbul for us. Celine, tell us a little bit more background about this tragic story. This boy, very much an innocent victim. His name was Berkin Ailvan. He was 14 years old uh, during last summer. He was out on the street uh, to go and buy some bread. And he got caught up uh, in the protests, uh, the anti-government protests taking place last summer. And he was uh, shot in the head by a tear gas canister. Since then, it has been 269 days, that is over nine months. Since then, he has been in a coma, and this morning, his family tweeted to give the news that he had lost his life. Uh, it, is, it is a very tragic incident. The news has just spread all across Turkey. We are hearing reports of various demonstrations taking place across the country, especially in the capital city, Ankara. There are reports of clashes taking place with, between the police and the demonstrators. And in Istanbul, uh, people, hundreds of people have gathered in various uh, different districts of town. And uh, in Istiklal Caddesi, which is very close to Taksim Square, Taksim Square was the main square where all the protests had taken place last summer. So people, hundreds of people have gathered near Taksim Square and they will be marching towards the square and there is police presence there. So we might expect some incidents taking place tonight. We don't yet know what might happen but we will be following the events. Celine.